Welcome to the Ball Color Link Cut Flower Series. Today we'll be talking about cut flower sunflowers. Sunflowers are an important crop for just about every cut flower farm. They're easy to start from seed, either direct sown or from plugs that you'll start yourself on your farm. They can be direct sown with an earthway seeder. An earthway seeder normally plants just one row of seeds, but if you bolt four of them together, you can plant the full width of the bed and plant four times as fast. Larger field plantings can be done with a tractor mounted seeder. If you want to start your own plugs, you can use a 100 or 120 cell tray. Just be sure to transplant them after about two weeks. A paper chain pot planter can also be used. More information on the pot planters can be found at smallfarmworks.com. Seeds are planted just below the surface. They should be grown in full sun. And don't worry about the summer heat because sunflowers can take the summer heat without any problem. Sunflowers should be succession planted weekly for about 20 weeks. You want to start planting two to three weeks before your last spring frost date. And continue weekly plantings on about six to seven weeks before the average first frost date in the fall. By planting and selling 400 sunflowers a week for 20 weeks, compared to planting just one planting in the spring, can mean an increase of about $10,000 in additional sales. Flower size can be manipulated with the plant spacing. Closer spacing produces smaller flowers. Wider spacing produces larger flowers. The standard spacing for cut flower production is six inches. You want to control the weeds when the plants are young. Sunflowers will then outgrow and shade out most of the new weeds. Sunflowers do need irrigation, but usually not as much as other flowers. Sunflowers don't require much fertilizer. Most growers rely on the residual fertilizer that's in the ground from a previous crop. If the soil is poor, you may use a granular fertilizer, something like 2530, and incorporate that in the soil before planting. Excessive water and fertilizer will cause plants to grow taller with weak stems. Insect damage can occur on the petals or the foliage. Harvest them before the flowers open and eliminate most of the pest damage on the flowers. You can get misshapen flowers that's often caused by damage to the young bud by some kind of a sucking insect. A little bit of leaf damage is usually not a problem because the foliage are removed when harvesting. Deer can sometimes be a problem. They'll eat the young plants or sometimes they wait until they're about to bloom and come and eat the flower buds. Downy mildew can be a problem in some areas. Downy mildew resistant seed is available for some varieties. Alternary leaf spot can damage the foliage and spread to the flowers. You want to treat that with a fungicide if needed. But often leaf problems, if they're minor, don't matter because you're going to strip off those leaves before you sell the flowers. But like all crops, it's important to reduce insect and disease problems by rotating your crops and planting in a new area each year. Sunflowers should be harvested every day, sometimes twice a day, and you want to harvest them just as the flowers start to open. Remo remove all the leaves so the irrigation water goes to the flowers, not the leaves. Use tall, clean buckets and clean water. It's recommended to use a Chrysal CVBN Gerber pill, which is a chlorine tablet, and that helps keep your water clean. Because you're picking them every day, you'll need to store them in a cooler. You should store them in a cooler at about 35 degrees Fahrenheit. The flowers are open fairly fast when they're removed from the cooler. Within a couple hours, the ones in the picture shown here will be open fully. For the longest shelf life for a customer, sell at the bud or half open stage, not fully open. These pictures illustrate the recommended harvest stage. The best stage is the picture on the left where the petals are just starting to lift in the central disc. 
The center picture shows a sunflower that may be only a couple hours later than the first picture, but you can see the petals are starting to unfurl. That's still okay to pick and sell. With a picture on the far right, that sunflower has been open for a day or two in the field. You normally would not want to pick that and sell it to a customer because the petals will get damaged in transit and also you'll have a much shorter vase life. Sunflowers are available in many different varieties and flower forms. The different options to choose from are the flower color, they can be yellow, orange, mahogany, shades of uh, copper, uh, even white. And then your center disc color can be anything from a yellow to a black and shades of brown. Different plant height. Some only grow to be three or four feet tall, some will grow to six feet tall. It's also important to note that there are potted or landscape sunflowers that only grow to 12 to 20 inches tall. You do not want to grow those as a cut flower, so make sure you're sticking with the cut flower varieties of sunflowers. And then you have either single stemmed or branching plants. A single stem plant will give you one flower for every seed you plant. A branching plant can give you multiple stems and multiple flowers on that plant. Another important thing is that the days to harvest, it can range from 55 days for some of the pro-cut varieties to as much as 100 days for the Sun King, double sunflower. And there are also day length neutral varieties. That means that they'll do okay in the spring and fall when your days are short and your nights are longer. There is even a series of sunflowers called Sunfill, which have such little petals that you actually harvest them before they bloom and use them as a textural or color element in the arrangement. Fall seed carries over 60 varieties of cut flower seeds. You have the options of different series, and a series is where there'll be a a variety that has several or multiple colors or color options, such as the Sunrich has eight different color options. The Procut has 13 different options. Vincent has two. Um, and then you have the ones that are the off, one-off varieties, where there's just one variety. There is no matching uh, variety in a series. And the first three on the list are Ziggy, Marley, and Double Sun King. Those are all a ball seed exclusive. Some of the varieties recommended for growing is the Double Sun King, which is a double variety. It's best grown in the long, warm days of summer, and it is a 90 to 100 day crop time, whereas most other sunflowers are in the 60 to 70 day range. Vincent's Fresh and Vincent's Choice are two in the Vincent series. They both have overlapping petals, so there's more than one row of petals on the plants. And then Full Sun is a variety that has kind of a copper color ring around the center disc. And then fairly new in the sun, sunflower market is Pro Cut White Light and Pro Cut White Night. It's a pale, pale yellow, almost white petals with either a yellow center or a dark brown center. Sunfinity is a branching sunflower. It reblooms throughout the summer. It does produce a little bit of pollen, but it is a good flower for use in bouquet work because you get a smaller flower on a smaller stem, where sometimes the single stem varieties are just too big to put in a mixed arrangement. Soraya is a branching variety. It also has a little bit of pollen. Then Procut Orange is a standard traditional sunflower with the orange petals in the dark center. And then some suggested varieties to grow for fall harvest when people are looking for the darker, richer colors would be Marley, the Procut Bicolor, Procut Plum, or Ziggy. 
as you can see from these pictures, even within the variety, the color is not consistent. You can see in the Ziggy where there's about three different shades and from light to dark. And same with the Pro Cut Plum. There's some of the flowers are very dark and some have more light on the petals. That's normal and that's just what the darker color sunflowers will do. But these are great colors to be selling in September and October. A few things to remember is to plant sunflowers every week. And with most flowers, plant more than you think you'll need because it's better to have excess than to run out of flowers. Be sure to harvest the sunflowers just before they open. And more sunflower info can be found at ballseed.com backslash cutflowers. That's Ballseed's cutflower resource website. Listed on there are several of the seed catalogs from the various seed producers. Some are just sunflowers. Some of the seed catalogs will feature sunflowers. So we suggest if you're not growing sunflowers, you add them to your product mix.